Ever pondered who holds more power, a property owner or a squatter? Welcome to a perplexing tale that unfolded recently in Germantown, Philadelphia. This story revolves around a property owner named Kayem Frink, who found himself in a bitter squabble with squatters, which ultimately led to his arrest. Kayem Frink, a lawful property owner, had his world turned upside down when he became embroiled in a confrontation with squatters occupying his Philadelphia property. What should have been a straightforward case of trespassing took an unexpected turn as Frank and his friend were arrested on charges including burglary and assault. The squatters, who had allegedly broken into the property multiple times, were allowed to stay. This decision raised eyebrows and posed a significant question. What rights does a property owner truly have? Scene script. Frank's lawyer argued that the squatters had repeatedly violated the sanctity of private property, but the court order seemed to side with the squatters. The court's decision restricted Frank from entering his own property, a ruling that left many stunned. Further adding to the drama, the squatters were found to be using alternative power sources. This discovery raised serious concerns for the legitimate tenants residing in the building, highlighting the complicated nature of this situation. As the dust settles, Frank now awaits his preliminary hearing scheduled for July. A property owner arrested for defending his own property, while squatters continue to remain, paints a troubling picture of property rights and squatters' laws. In conclusion, this incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities surrounding property rights and squatters' laws. It underscores the importance of understanding these laws and the potential implications for property owners. The case of Kayem Frink and the squatters in Germantown is more than just a legal squabble. It's a conversation starter on the balance of power between property owners and squatters. As we await the outcome of Frink's hearing in July, one thing is clear, this case has far-reaching implications that extend beyond the borders of Germantown, Philadelphia.